you said that um, you passed ITF, passed the first part of A+, mm -hmm. and then got um, a little humbled by um, the second part. So was A+, plus what you expected? Was it not what you expected? Was it, uh, like, how was it? How did it feel overall? I, um, I know, mm -hmm. sorry. I know in the I first, agree. in the first test, um, I got hit with some questions. I didn't know. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you talking about? I don't know what this is. Uh, so troubleshooting came in with that, like be good at troubleshooting, um, because you can at least break it down to like, 50%. I think it's either this one or this one where you end up doing the question where it's like, what's the most right one? Um, <laughs> right. You know, this, it could be this one, but it's probably this one. Um, Cause this is the one that it's like, what, what's the, you want, you want to go for like the Alcom's razor, the easier one <laughs> is probably the one that's the problem. So test that first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you want to do that. I know that's part of the part of the CompTIA steps. <laughs> I just yep. remember it as Razor because I learned that when I was like seven. Um, <laughs> uh, I would say I actually felt really good about the A plus that I failed. <laughs> I was, I yeah, um, I, I'm like, I got this. <laughs> I now, didn't got it. <laughs> would you say that? Okay, well, what about then? When you failed, did you ever think about quitting or giving up or saying this isn't for me or what you think um failing was like oh no and honestly what i worried more about was being able to pay to take it again like mm -hmm. <laughs> so i yeah. obviously so quitting wasn't wasn't even really a thought it was oh man how am i gonna get the what was it the 250 to pay it again i'm in the middle of a move i don't have right. a job nobody's hiring me right now for any like art gigs like oh no yeah. Um, so that was my thought, but no, I never thought about giving up. Um, cause I also was really close to passing it. So I knew if I was in a different situation, I probably could have remembered more of it or at For least sure. guessed, guessed, right. Maybe had a little bit of anxiety. So I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I feel good about it. Don't trust feeling good about it. Don't, don't so, trust that. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I know you say you're doing help desk, but what's your actual, what's the, what's your actual job title? Um, tech support. Tech support. Do you feel like the stuff that you learned in A plus, the stuff that you went over in A plus, did that help you in your current role, or what do you think? I think it helped a lot because they didn't have to train me as much, mm -hmm. and I kind of already knew where to go, and I got to, and I know to check certain things that somebody who didn't have the certs wouldn't know how to check. Right. Okay. Like, gotcha. Yeah, like the fan in my computer failed. I knew it was probably that situation, but it wasn't my computer, so I'm not touching it. Um, <laughs> you know, when the like when customers are like like the networking stuff, I was saying they're like, oh, it's not loading, it's not working. It's, sometimes it's like, is your internet bad today? <laughs> that might be it. Did you turn off port eighty? Do you know what port eighty is? Where were you last? Don't play. <laughs> excuse me. Don't play with the settings. You know, uh, we had one guy say like, oh, my computer won't turn on. And I'm like, you know, that that meme where it's like, sir, this is a Wendy's. Um, <laughs> it's like and he lives like across the country. So it's like we can't help you turn your computer. You need to take it to somebody who can actually access the computer. <laughs> right, right. You could have that that great dust insulation in there. <laughs> no. Um, Brad help this, right? And sometimes yes. help this is uh, frowned upon. Uh, I don't frown upon it because, like I said, it's a great um, learning experience for sure. But what would you say is your ultimate goal in tech? Like, what is it? Are you, is it a specific role or specific sector or specific industry inside of tech? Like, what would be um, not necessarily your dream job, but something like, what do you have an end goal in mind? Well, Unfortunately, I don't because I, oh, yeah. you know, I haven't been thinking about being in tech since I was like 11, you know, right. this was, uh, I made this decision when I was, you know, in my later twenties and was like, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was like giving up on the other thing, uh, sort of, um, this is now my side thing. Um, so right now it's as one of my friends, Cause I have a friend who's in, um, 
security analyst, I think, I okay. think is what he says he is. Um, he, he talks to me about this sometimes, right? Because they, they think I'm too smart for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, and it's um, anyway, so they were actually the ones who helped me get the idea to go into tech, <laughs> but got you, got you. Um, not they, they as in this group of friends, not this particular guy, but this particular guy kept saying the word that, uh, you know, it's all green right now or something like that. Mm -hmm. Meaning yeah. that because of where I'm at, I can definitely, I'm not locked into any part of tech, you know, so I could go into software. I could go into security. I could go into networking. I could go into anywhere that makes me interested, you know? Yeah. So right now, so what I've been told is that I already have security mindset. Um, according to my friends, because I'm somebody who's like, yeah, you know, I don't want Alexa in my house. <laughs> I don't want anything that can listen to me. I mean, right. I'm stuck with my phone, but like, um, I don't, I don't want my trash can to be smart. I don't want my fridge to be smart. Um, <laughs> I'm like the anti-tech tech person, <laughs> which apparently is a very security thing. And like, For I have, sure. I have For like sure. all the cookies on my computer turned off unless they have to like, anyway, you know, you know the kind of stuff I'd probably be doing. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to look more into that. So um, the good news about that is, um, and I'm setting a deadline for you, uh, of at least July, right? July. Um, by July, because uh, I know you're still going through the program, but by July, you should have Network Plus and uh, Security Plus. And the good thing about that, uh, Cheyenne, is that Network Plus, and I also, I think you might like, I don't know. You said ah, networking, but I just think I think um, once you really, really get into it, I think you may I think you may like a little bit more than you do. But. Um, the network plus and security plus the security plus is probably really going to you know, open your eyes. because I'm pretty much the same way. Uh, I don't have Alexa. I'll never have Alexa. Hardly nothing in my house is really uh, connected to the Internet when it doesn't have to be. Um, I don't really believe in like ring cameras or any of that type of stuff. Um, so I'm pretty um, security gets me excited, uh, actually. Um, but I'm, I'm super security uh, focused. So when you get to that part, but anyway, um, I think the deadline should be July. Um, and by then you'll have about a year underneath your belt there. And you don't have to stay where you're at. Um, but like I said, the experience is the great thing. And that's one thing I want to uh, go back. As you said, you used to help your aunties and your cousins and fix it. A lot of people, even if you're not like Cheyenne, even if you're not um, in help desk, you need to use that experience on your resume, right? Because even though it's like, oh, it's no big deal. Your auntie didn't know how to do it. Your cousin didn't know how to do it. Like, you have to use all that stuff um, um, on your resume to um, level up. And then Cheyenne, she's going to be fine. Um, she's rocking out there. And um, one thing I will say, though, or one thing I want to ask you is, as far as um, your job right now, do you see... Uh, a potential for promotion there? Or is it kind of like you maybe kind of locked in where you at or what do you think that looks like? It's one of those things that I asked them when I got hired um, was, is there room for promotion or like job changes? Mm -hmm. And they said, yes, but it's also if they have the position open. I mean, that's thing anywhere is, though, right? That's, that's how uh, I mean, it is, but the thing is, it's a small company and I actually do really like working there. I like the people I work good. with. That's good. That's good. So, that's good. um, it, well, that's kind of what I was saying. Um, cause like, I thought I was good. Like I was looking at security, but I'm also looking at coding because I deal with the coder most often. And I just okay. think that's magic. I'm like, cool. You can make things happen. Um, you know, but, and he mostly works in JavaScript. So I'm like, I don't know anything about JavaScript, but I'm looking at inspect and learning the stuff. Yep, yep, um, yep, yep. Uh, so it's either going to be, because again, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, we'll right. see what interests me. I really like making things. So we'll see. Um, but the China, that's a beautiful thing. That is a yeah. beautiful thing. Having all those options. You can literally go wherever you want to. Oh yeah. I mean, it's also a little daunting, but I also have to remember, I don't have a deadline on when to decide, yep, you know, true. um, so when it comes to where do I see myself, um, I'm hoping I'm still at the company I'm at, okay. uh, but you know, my, my thing is, is once I do skill up and once I do feel like I have enough experience to go elsewhere or move on, I'm going to give them first dibs on me, you know? So I'm going to be like, okay, cool. This is what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. You can either apprentice me to one of the people who already do that here. Or if this is something you already farm out, you could give me that, sh give me the shot to be your in-house person for that. Yep. Um, but I'm going to give them first dibs on me. 
good um before if i move on when i move on i i don't i don't i don't know if i will want to stay in the position i'm at um for more than two and a half years then that's like the max yeah that's what i'm saying like um i don't know if i'll want to stay in the position i'm in right that long because a lot of what my job right now is it's QA. I'm, I'm literally like, you know, in gaming, it's QA where you like just test a lot of stuff. I'm mostly a tester right now. Um, gotcha. so we'll see. <laughs> um, like, this is the question I'm like, Oh no, it's going to get me fired. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, I'm going to give him first dibs on me, whatever I do in the future. Um, gotcha. cause it's a good company. That's, that's I like awesome it. that you like love where you work at. And a lot of times I tell, you know, my guys and my girls to, you know, foster those relationships and try to, you know, move up in the company that you're currently at. And then, like you said, you're doing a good job looking over the colder sh- uh, shoulder. If you got a network engineer, look over his shoulder or her shoulder, the cyber people, whoever's there, you know, try and get as much tutelage and guidance as you can. And then another thing is tech seems big, but the community is actually pretty small. Because this, this person may go here, go there. Like, oh, yeah, um, Cheyenne uh, that I used to work with, you know, she would be great over here, over there. And you'll always pretty much, if you do it right, you'll never be without a job because uh, you always have so many different, you know, uh, irons in the fire. Um, so. Seems like we get bored quickly, too. It's like, I'm tired of doing this part. I'm going to go do something else. Man, <laughs> and we're always I've good had, at team learning. So I, we learn something I've had new. so many different jobs, man. It doesn't. Uh, not in so many different, that makes me sound like a bum, but I, you know, I had so many <laughs> different positions, right? Uh, cause even what I'm doing now, I still can jump right back into, you know, what I was doing before. And even like you said, um, I'm not a coder. Uh, it doesn't interest me, um, that much, but if I wanted to, you can jump in that lane, cybersecurity, teaching, whatever you want to do. There's so many different, you know, avenues, uh, to revenue. But well, one question I wanted to ask you though, in your estimation, right? Um, uh, no right answer. Can anybody? And that means anybody. Can anybody get into tech? Can anybody get into IT? Or is there some people that are just no bueno? Or what do you think? I think if you want to do it, you can. Okay. If you have an internet connection, I'm, I'm going to say it's pretty hard to learn it if you have to go to a library and read something from 1980. But if you have it, <laughs> if you have the internet and a phone, you probably can um, if you are interested enough. Because again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's going to be a lot harder for you if you are starting from... I don't know what a USB port is, <laughs> right. um, but you can do it. Like so far, a lot of it is being, it's just like knowing like what this does kind of thing, you know, it's like, okay, so internet comes through, a, comes through, I think about it as a door in the computer, yep. you know? So thinking about it that way is less than, oh, it comes from the magic somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not magic. Seems like magic, but it's not magic. Right, it's a bunch right. of ones and zeros. True, that true. Somebody yeah. taught how to go one, 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 zero, zero. Wait, I'm not going to do the math on that. I should review my binary math. Um. <laughs> so um, I think this was a good interview. I think this was a great interview. Um like I said, I'm proud of you. You know, you got A plus going and going up the ladder. You know, hopefully I can get you back on in a year or two um, to see, you know, where you're at, um, to see how much you progress, what you're doing now, so on and so forth. 